Hey guys, in this video I'm going to take you through a football prediction model using simple Poisson distribution. So let's get started. So what are the objectives? In this video you will learn how to calculate the probability of any scoreline between teams in a football match and discover how to use it to calculate match odds. So home, draw and away, so we're talking about English football, so soccer if you're American. Um, yeah, this will help you make more well-informed football predictions and help you find value in various betting markets. So what is Poisson distribution? So it was developed by 19th century French mathematician Simeon De Denis Poisson. It is a probability theory that uses historical sports data to predict the outcome of a sports event. It measures the likelihood of how many times an event will occur during a specific period. So in our case Poisson distribution can help us predict how likely each number of goals scored is going to be. So why use Poisson distribution? So when bookmakers set their odds it is important to know how likely any event is based on past performance. Bookmakers use math mathematical models and we can too. So yeah, if we want to have the optimal chance of competing and making a profit, then ideally you'd be using some sort of scientific mathematical approach. So if you want to take that approach, you should be calculating for yourself how likely you think a specific game or set of events will be. So that is the first step to finding value. If you have found something that is more likely to happen than what the bookmakers predict, then you found value. So if you think that there's a 50% chance of a team winning and the bookmaker is giving them only a 25% chance, then obviously you're going to take the price with the bookmaker. Yeah, so plus on distribution is particularly relevant for games like football where scoring happens on an incremental scale. So it helps us determine the likelihood of each possible score. So again, one of the most common uses of plus on distribution calculating football results. Um, so in order to do this we need to first calculate our league's average goal expectancy as well as the attack strength and the defence strength for both of the teams. So this is how we're going to do that. So in our example we're going to go with just an example game in the English Premier League between Arsenal and Manchester United and in the table below you can see all of the information that we need in order to calculate these odds. So you've got the goals scored at home by all Premier League teams, you've got the away goals scored by all Premier League teams, you've got the home goals scored by Arsenal, the home goals conceded by Arsenal, the away goals scored by Manchester United and the away goals conceded by Manchester United and then you've got the averages. So how do we calculate attack strength? So with the data on the previous table that you just saw, we can calculate attack strength for the home and the away team. So attack strength is the team's average number of goals divided by the league's average number of goals. So in our example, we've got Arsenal and their attack strength is 3.0 divided by 1.53 which gives us 1.96 and to calculate Manchester United's attack strength we take 1.78 and divide it by 1.147 which gives us 1.55 and then we do the exact same thing for the defence strength so simply divide the team's average number of goals by the league's average number of goals conceded so for Arsenal, you can see there we've just slotted the figures in. Same for Manchester United. So the next thing that we need to calculate is the goal expectancy. So to determine how many goals Arsenal will likely score, we need to multiply Arsenal's attack strength, which we've just calculated, by Manchester United's defence strength and the league's average number of home goals. So if we slot those figures in, that's what we get, 1.23. So Arsenal would be expected to score 1.23 goals 
and to determine how many goals Manchester United will score we need to multiply Manchester United's attack strength by Arsenal's defence strength and the league's average number of away goals and again put the numbers in and that gives us 0 0.997 so then we have all of the information that we need to put into the Poisson formula so you can see that there with a little definition below and obviously yeah no game ends 1.23 0 0.997 so th these are simply averages Poisson distribution allows us to use these figures to distribute 100% of the probability across a range of goal outcomes for each side so it's, it's going to distribute that across Arsenal scoring 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 goals and the same for Manchester United so yeah how do we do that we can do that on Excel which is nice and easy so what you do is you create a little table like this here so you've got Arsenal goals and we're looking to find the probability for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 goals and obviously our expected is 1.23 so all you do is put in equals and then you start typing Poisson and then it will bring up Poisson.dist and then you double click on it and it will bring up this table and then you just need to put in so yeah C21 is obviously the probability of that's the cell that we're trying to work out so zero the probability of zero goals um, and then we've got obviously the expected so the mean 1.23 and then you just type false in this box here and then when you press enter you'll get the it will just give you the results and then you can drag them down and then you've got all of your probabilities for each of the score each of the number of goals that Arsenal will score and then you do the same for Manchester United so now we've got the probability for Arsenal scoring one to five goals and we've also got the probability of Manchester United scoring one to five or zero to five goals so how can we predict a match outcome based on these probabilities? Um, to get each possible score, simply multiply the probability of each possible score by each team by the probability of each possible score by the other team. So that gives us the following distribution in the table below. So you can see what we've done here. So the probability of a nil-nil draw is 0 0.29 multiplied by 0 0.37 and that is 0 0.1. 073 so it's um, basically 10.73 percent yeah so what you want to do is you do that for all of the probabilities so you go nil nil and as you can see here the yellow boxes are all of the draws so you've got the nil nil draw the one one draw two two three three all of the green area is the probability of the Manchester United away win and all of this red area here is the probability of an Arsenal win so next we convert our estimated chance into betting odds. So to calculate the chance of an Arsenal win, we'll add all the red squares from the table over here. So yeah, you just literally add up all of these figures in red and that gives us 0 0.4142 or 41.42% chance of Arsenal winning this match. And then to calculate the chance of a Manchester United win, we add all the green squares so exact same thing, just add all of these figures in the green and that will give us 0 0.29867 or 29.87% and then to calculate the chance of a draw you just add the ones in the yellow boxes and that will give us 0 0.286118 which is 28.61% So to convert each of these chances into odds we use the following formula so odds equals 1 divided by probability the Arsenal win is 1 divided by 0 0.4142 which is 2.4390 so that is the odds for the Arsenal win. The Manchester United win is 1 divided by 0 0.29867 which is 3.3333. Same thing for the draw. So you just run the calculation and that gives us 3.4483. Um, so yeah, once you've got these odds, what you can do is you can compare them with what the bookmakers are offering and if the bookmaker price or the exchange price is higher than the ones that we've calculated here, then you've found some value.
So if Arsenal were 2.5, then it would be a good value bet on Arsenal to win. And obviously, yeah, exact same on the other two. So in summary, this is just a very simple way to calculate odds. So you wouldn't expect this to be working phenomenally well. But it is a very good solid starting point for coming up with logical football predictions. And it does enable you to compare your odds to those offered by the bookmakers in order to find value. There's a lot more information you could add into the model. And obviously the more data you add into the model, the more accurate it could be. So obviously some people, well, players get injured. You've got um, weather. There's a lot of different factors that you would need to add into a model in order to make it more accurate. Um, so yeah, hopefully this quick tutorial helped give you a quick introduction to compiling your own odds. Um, if you've got any questions, leave a comment below and make sure you join the Odds Tribe members group where we share, so we share this data with you every day so you don't have to do any of the calculations yourself. Mm -hmm.